we deal with percents a lot in our life and so I want to give you some tips on how to deal with 50 percent, 10 percent, and 20 percent. If we remember from our previous lessons, percent means out of a hundred, so 50 percent means half and here's how we get that. 50 out of a hundred is 50 percent. We can reduce zeros at the end of fractions, so we cross off those two zeros, which leaves us 5 out of 10. And then remember, this means division. That's all this bar means. So 5 goes into 10 two times. So this 5 out of 10 pieces is 1 half. So 50% means half. So if I need to find 50% of a number, I just cut it in half. That makes life easy. 50% of 100, cut it in half divide that by 2, 50. Half of 20, 10. 50 percent of 5, half, which is 2.5. 50 percent of 2, cut it in half, 1. Let's move this to 10 percent. So 10 percent is 10 out of 100. So what tip we can use is all you have to do to find 10 percent of any number is move the decimal spot 1 spot to the left. So you're just moving your decimal point one spot to the left. Here's an example. 10 percent of 20. So think of whole numbers as dollars, right? Because you're looking at the number 20 and you're thinking, I don't even see a decimal point. That's okay. Think of 20 dollars and zero cents. How would your thing look? Just like this, right? 20 dollars point zero zero. So here's our imaginary decimal point. In whole numbers, the, the decimal point isn't shown, it's there. But if you write it as money, it's going to help you remember. Now that I've written my decimal as money, to find 10 percent of that number, I simply move my decimal spot one to the left. So this becomes 2.0 or just 2. Let's practice 10% of these numbers. So here I had 10% of 55.6. This example already had the decimal point there. So all I'm going to do is move it one spot to the left, which becomes 5.56. I have the number 400. 10% of 400, remember, think of it as dollars, $400 and zero cents. So here's my imaginary decimal point. I'm moving it one over, which cuts a zero off, making it 40. 10 percent of 100, move my decimal spot one over, gives me 10. 10 percent of 59, here's my imaginary decimal point at the end of the 9, I move it one over, gives me 5.9. And now 10 percent of 2, move my decimal point over 1, gives me 0.2. 10 percent is really easy, just remember, move my decimal point one spot to the left. If I don't have a decimal point, if it's not shown to me, it's at the end of my number. To find 20 percent of something, do your easy routine for 10 percent and then double it because 10 plus 10 is 20. So for instance, if I wanted 20 percent of 500, I would find 10 percent first because we know that's easy. All you do is move your decimal spot one over. So if I'm going to move my decimal spot over, whoosh, that's going to give me 50. Now that's only 10 percent and I want 20 percent, so I'm just going to double my answer. 50 plus 50 is 100. If I wanted to find 20 percent of 34, here's my decimal point, I move it over 1, that gives me 3.4, then I double it, so it's like 3.4 plus 3.4 is 6.8. Pretty easy, huh? So we use percents all the time, don't be afraid of them. Remember your quick little tips.